Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today I'm at work, obviously. I don't walk around the house this handsome every day. Well, I do, really. Well, <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, you'd see my vlogs. I look like a mess most of the time. Oh my God, I don't care. I don't, I just wear the same old clothes weeks after weeks without washing them. No, I wash them. I'm not that feral. Or am I? Anyway, today I'm at work and I have bought some on the menu spaghetti and meatballs for lunch today. Two dollars! <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I mean, who knows what it's going to taste like? Well, we're going to find out. But this is what it looks like out of the container, so it looks alright. It's got four meatballs in it. I mean, how many more meatballs do you expect? Five? Jeez, you'd be lucky to get five. I mean, five would be good. A nice round number, at least. Or is four round? No, four's got like four points on it. <laughs> Five's only got two ends. Now, according to my eyesight, because I can see now with glasses, this has got 3% fat, 2% sugar, and 15% carbs. So, mate, it can't be that bad for you, surely. Although, I can tell just by looking at it, that the sauce in this is going to give me some sort of stomach upsetness. But, there's only one way to find out and that's by nuking this bad boy. Four to five minutes. Uh, microwave. Four minutes thirty, I'll put it. Thirty-three. You see what I did there? Okay, well there we go. Mm-mm. That looks good. Doesn't it? Probably not. I like how burnt it looks on the top though. Looks like really well cooked. I wonder how they cook those. Probably bake it in an oven or something. But I mean it looks alright. Looks like something you'd pick up at a restaurant. Pretty sure some places would just throw this on a plate and uh, claim it to be their own and probably charge 15 bucks for it. I know that's what I'd do if I owned a restaurant. I'd be like one of those, one of those Gordon Ramsay kitchen nightmares. That'd be one of me. I'd be on there for sure. Well, there we go. Yum. Boy, that's average. Oh, man, it's got no flavor at all. It's got no saltiness. The sauce is bland. You can't even tell it's pasta. It's just atrocious. Needs salt. Needs something. Needs flavor. I wonder what the balls are like. God, I love these things. Hey, the balls taste all right. But I'm gonna add some salt to it because it really needs it. Salt. And pepper. I remember them from the 80s, salt and pepper. What song did they sing? Hmm, uh, now I'm going to be trying to think of it for the next six hours. Lucky I got Google. I'll go and look on there. Let's see what it's like now with some salt and pepper. Oh, just average. I wouldn't be going the uh, spaghetti and meatballs, that's for sure. It's, it's not very good. Oh, mate, as far as fast food, frozen meals go, that was terrible. Oh, man. <laughs> Why be, <coughs> be getting that again? Well, that was a very interesting meeting, I thought, between uh, Trump and Kim. And, well, I mean, Kim, Kim looked like a, a giggling little schoolgirl when he met Trump. He was just, like, in awe of him. You could just tell that he was like, Oh my god, I'm meeting the president! Oh my god! How did I get here? He just looks so excited and... Well, hopefully it'll be, um... You know, good things to come from this. But I'd love it if, uh, you know... If some, for some reason... Kim decided that, you know what, I'm gonna let people come in, start tourism, open my borders up for people to come and go and then it becomes like a tourist destination and looks like it could be a nice place to go. 
So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. i tell you what, if they do do that, and they start building resorts, right, I'll definitely go. <laughs> Looks like an interesting place, to say the least. And you'd be helping out some people as well, I'm sure. It's all about helping people in need. If they deserve it. If they don't, then don't help them. Just kick them when they're down. All right, well, I just did a bit of shopping, and look at this steak I picked up. 424 grams. Woo-wee! That was $5.79. Well, I'm going to cut that in half. That'll do me two meals. Yes! And look what's on special at Woolworths. $2.50. I thought I'd shout myself one. And I got my favourite, Black Forest. Oh, I love this stuff. I love the chewy little jello bits inside. Yum! Now all I have to do is remember to take it out of the fridge before I leave. Believe me, I've forgotten a few times. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. Oh, and I'm home, and... Ta-da! I microwave some potatoes here. Beautiful. I'm gonna cook it with this steak. Not with it, but I'm having it with it. Look at the fatty veins in there. Man, it's like Wagyu. Except it's rump. I love rump. Rump's a really good cut. Especially in this country. We always get really good rumps. They're really tender. And very nice. So I'm going to cut this bad boy in half. Have half tonight. And then half tomorrow. And it would be remiss of me. Not to mention the Korean summit today. I mean, how good was that? How good was Trump to get Kim Jong-un in to sign a nuclear treaty and hopefully take North Korea out of the dark ages. It's got to be like one of the greatest coups just ever. Like in living memory, this has got to be one of the greatest peace deals ever. Wow, what an absolute legend. I mean, no other president, no other politician wanted to touch it. But Trump, he did. He's the man who will go down in history as the greatest president ever. And, well, well done, Donald Trump. Uh, I'm so proud of you. I, if I was an American, I'd be so proud to have him as my leader, I tell you. I know he cops a lot of crap from, like, Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, who are they? Like, De Niro the other day. Seriously. Who get, runs out on stage and screeches F Trump? You'd have to have a really bad case of uh, derangement syndrome, wouldn't you? But that's Hollywood for you. They're the biggest bunch of hypocrites. They've all got Trump derangement syndrome. And the fact that they all stood and applauded this halfwit getting on stage and screeching at the sky like De Niro did just goes to show how effed up Hollywood is and the people there, and these, uh, the beliefs that these people hold. And there are so many other people out there that just want their country to fail, that want the economy to fail, they want war to break out, they want famine, starvation, high unemployment. They all want this just to make Trump look stupid. And the fact is that it's Trump that's making them look stupid. So congratulations, Trump. You are the man. Uh, I can't speak highly enough of you. You've, today was such a great day. I, I was so proud of him and I was so proud of what he achieved. And um, well, good on you, mate. You're an absolute legend. Uh, I used to love watching, what's that show? The Apprentice. Love The Apprentice. And uh, well, the real life apprentice is even better than the TV show version. <laughs> anyway, cheers to you all. Thanks for watching, and I'll um, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going on a bit of a trip, so I'll see you then.